Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how you go about using the Mad Meerkat Finance through the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. I want to point out that this is just going to be a simple step-by-step -step walkthrough guide tutorial on how to use Mad Meerkat Finance. This is not investing or financial advice and always do your own research before investing in crypto but we're also going to want to have an account on the crypto.com app. That's the first thing that I recommend setting up. And then this is what we're going to be able to buy Kronos through. Then we're going to be able to transfer that over to the DeFi wallet and then use that in Mad Meerkat Finance. So starting off, we're going to launch the crypto.com app. And if you need help making a crypto.com app account, I'll have a separate tutorial video linked down in the description. But once we're on the homepage, again, like I said, this is where we're going to buy Kronos or CRO. And we can do this by clicking here at the top where it says trade. And this is going to be a buy. And then we're going to select the Kronos cryptocurrency. And then you can see we have a few different ways that we can go about buying a CRO. The first tab is credit card, but you can also use debit cards. And for me personally, I've had more issues with getting credit cards to be accepted as opposed to debit cards. So if you're going to use a card, I'd recommend trying a debit card. Now, the positives to this is you're going to get access to your funds immediately, not just for buying crypto, but also for transferring them over to the DeFi wallet. The downside is you're going to have to pay a bit of a fee for that transaction to go through. The next option is the crypto wallet. So you can use another cryptocurrency that you might have and you can purchase a CRO with that crypto. And then the last tab is the fiat wallet. And this is essentially just transferring money from a bank account that you link up and you can transfer that over. Now, the positive to this in comparison to using a card is there isn't a fee. The downside is you have to wait for these funds to settle into your account before you can transfer them over to the DeFi wallet. So you just have to weigh the pros and cons there. If you want to be able to transfer that CRO over to the DeFi wallet immediately, then you're going to have to incur that fee by using a debit card. Whereas if you want to buy your CRO with money that you transfer from the bank, you can do that, but you have to wait for those funds to settle in your account before you can transfer that CRO over to the DeFi wallet. So let's say for this example that I use a debit card that I have linked up and I'm going to buy 100 CRO. So I'm going to enter in 100 right here. And then it shows you the US dollar equivalent of how much CRO that you type in and then you can click buy. And then you can double check everything over. You can also see the fee that is associated with using a card to make the purchase. And then if everything looks good, you can click confirm at the bottom. So now that we have our Kronos, we now want to transfer this over to the DeFi wallet. So going back to the homepage of my smartphone, you can also download the Crypto.com DeFi wallet from the Google Play Store, just like you can do with the Crypto.com app. And then you're going to want to set up a wallet in the DeFi wallet that you can transfer to. So I'm going to open up the DeFi wallet. And once you're in the DeFi wallet, you're going to want to link it up to your Crypto.com app account. And you can do this by clicking on your profile image in the upper left hand corner. And then in your settings, find where it says connect to crypto.com app and go through the steps to link up your DeFi wallet to the crypto.com app so that we can transfer that CRO over. So now again, I'm going to go back to my homepage and launch the crypto.com app. And we had purchased that 100 CRO and we're going to transfer this. So I'm going to click the transfer option here at the top. And this is going to be a withdraw and we're withdrawing crypto. And when you have your DeFi wallet successfully linked up, you should have the option that you can withdraw your crypto over to the crypto.com DeFi wallet. So I'm going to select that and we're going to be transferring over CRO. So I'm going to click Kronos and then I need to enter in how much CRO that I'm going to be sending. So I enter in the 100 and then click send 100 CRO. And then you can just double check everything over and then click confirm at the bottom. And now at this point, I need to enter in the six digit verification code generated by the Authenticator app. If you haven't already set up the Google Authenticator app with crypto.com, I'll have a separate tutorial video linked down in the description on how you can go about doing that. But to show you this next step, we're going to go back to the homepage of my phone and click on the Authenticator app. And then in the Google Authenticator for my crypto.com, I need to grab this six digit code and enter that in the previous page. It's only going to last so long before it resets. So just waiting here for the clock to reset. So it's going to be 318633 for my time limited code here. So typing in 318633 and then continue. And it says withdraw request done. Your CRO withdraw request has been submitted. Tap anywhere to continue. So now that 100 CRO is going to be transferring over to my DeFi wallet account. So I'm going to go back to the homepage of my phone and then I'm going to click on the DeFi wallet. So the next step is going to be bridging that Kronos that I had just transferred over so that it is usable in Mad Meerkat Finance. So what we want to do is click on Kronos and we're going to click on Kronos Bridge. So the CRO that I transferred over from the app, that is on the crypto.org chain. And we need to bridge this so that it's usable in Mad Meerkat Finance. So we can see that balance of CRO is right here. And I'm going to do the max amount to bridge. So I'm going to click on max and then click transfer. 
and then double check everything over and click confirm to transfer. And it says request submitted. The CRO is pending to transfer from crypto.org to Kronos Beta. And this will take just a little bit of time. It depends on how busy the network is, but it should be relatively quick unless there's a lot of action going on on the network. So we're gonna click the X in the upper right hand corner. And then we're gonna go back to the DeFi wallet homepage by clicking the back button. And it says that it is bridging that CRO. So we just need to wait for that bridging to be done. And then we're gonna be able to use that over in Mad Meerkat Finance. Now we're finally on the step where we can use Mad Meerkat Finance. And to do this, we're gonna go here towards the bottom, find where it says D apps and click on that. And you should be able to find it in the popular tab. We can see MM Finance right here. So I'm gonna click on that. And what we're gonna be focusing on in this video are these three tabs here at the left. So we're gonna start out with the trade tab. I'm gonna open that up. And we have some different options. We can exchange one crypto coin for another, or we can pair two crypto together that we have to make liquidity pool tokens. So those are the two options that we have here. Before jumping into that, we're gonna to go to the earn tab and then the vault tab. So next earn. And we have the option to stake in farms or pools. So we'll start with the farms. And in the farms, we can stake LP tokens to earn. So you can see the different crypto pairings that you can stake in and the associated APR for those pairings. You can find one that you want to stake in and then you have to have 50% of the value in one crypto, 50% of the value in the other when you're forming those liquidity pool tokens. And we'll touch on that a little bit later, but just scrolling through so you can see all the different options here and they'll continue to add options for liquidity pool staking as time goes on. The other option that we have in Earn opening that up is the pools. And in the pools, it is a little bit more straightforward because in general, these aren't going to be liquidity pool tokens. You're just going to stake some tokens to earn. And primarily, you can see here that it's staking MMF to earn a number of different crypto tokens that you might be interested in. Or actually, you can just stake MMF to earn additional MMF. So again, a lot of these options are a bit more straightforward than going over to the farms if you don't have to get those liquidity pool tokens first. And now moving on, lastly, I want to go over to the vaults, and this is personally what I use. And for the MMO vaults, we're going to connect our wallet by clicking the connect wallet option up at the top. And I'm going to be connecting up my crypto.com DeFi wallet, so I'm going to select that. Now, the reason I use the Mad Meerkat Optimizer when I'm staking liquidity pool tokens is because it automatically reinvests your profits right back into the pool. It's kind of like you set it in there, forget about it, and your profits are just going to be restaked into the pool that you're in. So it's a more hands-off approach. Whereas the Mad Meerkat Finance Farms, where you stake LP tokens to earn, this is also a fine option, but you're going to have to manually harvest those, and then you can do whatever you want with those profits. They're not automatically put back in. You're going to be the one that has to do that manually. So it's just up to you whether you want to do MM Finance and farm those rewards for yourself and then use those rewards for whatever you want, or you can use the vaults where it's going to reinvest those profits for you automatically. So going back to the vaults, and this isn't financial advice, just walking through an example, but you can see that I'm already staked in the MMF CRO liquidity pool. So for this example, I'm going to do it with a fresh liquidity pool that I'm not in. So you can get an idea of what that looks like when you're starting from scratch. And I'll do the MMO CRO liquidity pool. So I'm going to click on that option right here. And you can see right here, it is an auto liquidity pool. There's also the option to boost. So I'll quickly run through that. So clicking on boost, you can see you can boost profits with Mad Meerkat NFTs, such as the cats themselves or the tree houses. You can stake those NFTs in these different slots to get percentage boosts on your liquidity pool. And I'll also quickly show you where you can buy those. So going back to the homepage of the DeFi wallet, going back to the DApps tab, and we can buy these over in Abyssus Bay, which is an NFT marketplace. So I'm going to click on that and then click on the menu in the upper right hand corner. Click on collections. And these are currently the two most successful NFT collections in Abyssus Bay. You have the Mad Meerkats, which give you a 3% boost, or you have the Mad Meerkat Treehouses, which currently give a 2% boost. But if you were interested in getting some NFTs from the Mad Meerkats, this is where you could find them over in the Abyssus Bay collections. But now going back to the vaults. And on the stake tab, what we need to do is approve the MMO CRO. So I'm going to click on that. And we have to pay a little bit of gas for the estimated network fee. So we're going to click confirm. And it says successfully approved MMO CRO. And now the next step is going to be getting those MMO CRO liquidity pool tokens. So we're going to go back and we're going to go to MM Finance and click on trade here in the bottom left hand corner. And before getting those liquidity pool tokens, we need 50% of CRO and 50% of MMO so that we can pair those together. So we're going to click on exchange first because I have to transfer some of those CRO over to MMO. So I'm going to click on exchange 
And I transferred over 100 CRO, but I also already had some CRO sitting in my balance. So you can see my total balance of CRO. Now you're gonna wanna leave some CRO left over so that you can pay for gas. So let's say maybe I'm gonna do about 330 CRO to transfer over to MMO. So I'm going to select Mad Meerkat Optimizer token, picking that right here. And the reason why I'm not gonna do just a straight up 50% is because that would leave me in a situation where I wouldn't have any CRO left over to pay for gas. So 50% is about 347. So I'm gonna reduce this down to 330. And again, that'll leave me with a little extra balance of CRO to cover my gas. So 330 currently equals about 15 or so MMO. So I'm gonna swap. And then I'm gonna confirm swap. And again, confirm. And then it says transaction submitted. So we can click close. And then we just need to wait a little bit of time where we get our receipt where it says 330 CRO was transferred for about 15.3 MMO. And my balance of CRO has now been reduced. So now the next thing we're going to do is get those liquidity pool tokens by clicking where it says trade here at the bottom left. And then click liquidity. And we're going to add liquidity by clicking that right there. And the first coin is going to be CRO. The second coin is going to be MMO. So I'm going to do the max amount of MMO, and then this is around about 330 CRO. When I take that out, I'm still going to have a little bit of CRO left, which is a good thing. So I'm going to scroll down here and click enable MMO, and then click confirm. And it says that it was approved, so now I can click supply. And it shows me how many liquidity pool tokens that I'm going to get by doing a 50-50 between CRO and MMO. So I can confirm this supply, and then confirm down here. Transaction submitted, so now I can click close. And after that transaction goes through, I now have liquidity pool tokens for the MMO CRO pairing. So now I'm gonna go back over to the optimizer. So I'm gonna click on the vault. And with my wallet connected up, going back and finding that pairing. So we have the MMO CRO, gonna click on that. And you can see my liquidity pool tokens show up right here in my balance. So I'm gonna click on where it says max and then click stake. And like I was mentioning earlier, it's important to have some CRO left in your balance so that you can cover the gas fees for this. So I'm going to click on where it says confirm. And it says successfully staked my MMO CRO liquidity pool tokens. And again, like I said earlier, the great thing about using the Mad Meerkat Optimizer for staking your liquidity pool tokens is it's an auto liquidity pool. Those profits are going to be put right back in to your staking amount. And it's just going to continue to build on itself over time. And finishing off this video for Mad Meerkat Finance, going through the step-by-step -step process on how you get started with Mad Meerkat Finance. And I touched on three of the main options that we have here with Trade, Earn, and Vault, and what you can do with CRO when you have it in your Crypto.com DeFi wallet and how you can utilize that in Mad Meerkat Finance. So I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you back here next time.